اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اي ام فروم بويز هاير سكندري سكول سوغام سبجكت ايديوكيشن كلاس 12th اند اور ٹوڈيز ٹاپک از ویریس ٹائپس اف لرننگ اند فور دا ٹاپک وی ار گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا تھرڈ فورتھ اند ففتھ ٹائپ اف لرننگ ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس نمبر تھرڈ ٹائپ ایٹ از verbal learning in olden days verbal learning was very popular everybody knows that kabir das was a great poet and saint he said his verses verbally to the people of his own times mogal emperor akbar mostly depended on verbal learning he was not knowing reading and writing in such a type of learning there is a verbal chain which assists learning for example A child is shown an object as a ball. The next time, if he sees the particular object, he will be able to say that it is a ball. In this type of learning, two channels are involved. Observing responses that links the appearance of the object and capability of distinguishing it from other objects. Thus, this type of learning is very popular among young children. Now number four, conceptual learning. When mental capacities are sufficiently developed from its own ideas and concepts, it is known as conceptual learning. This type of learning also makes clear the process of memorizing of various words, knowledge of different symbols and abstract ideas, etc. The learning becomes one, that is power of thinking and judgment developed. The person is now in a position to solve his day-to-day -day problems on the one hand and life problems on the other. Number five, associative learning. Conceptual learning is helped by associative learning. New concepts are associated or linked with the past concepts. In this learning, knowledge Tasks are presented in such a way that they may be learned by reason of their association. The name of a village like Kishanpur is remembered on account of its association with the name of Lord Krishna. Ganga, a girl's name, may become easy to remember in a, in a pure association with the river Gangas. Associative learning based on the assumption that ideas and experiences reinforce one another and can be linked. Abramson 1994 defines the concept as a form of behavior modification involving the association of two or more events such as between a stimulus and a response. Thank you very much.